Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanase here. So how to not get banned using Google ads. Nowadays, I'm getting a lot of messages on Instagram, on Facebook from people who are simply struggling to sell on Google ads. And no, it's not because of bad performance with Google. It's simply because their Google ads account are constantly getting banned. And this is something that has started to happen just in these recent few months, simply because a large portion of the advertisers that previously used to use Facebook ads or these other advertising platforms are now kind of transitioning over to Google ads simply because of the inconsistencies they're continuously facing. So as a way to kind of become more strict with the types of accounts that Google is personally allowing, Google ads has started to be more relentless when it comes to just banning those ad accounts which simply do not follow their policy. And this is one video you're actually going to want to watch until the end because it's super important to know how to not get banned in the first place because unfortunately once you get banned it is a whole another process of getting getting back your ad account. And from that point onwards, Google simply looks at your ad account with a little bit of extra care because they don't really trust your ad account anymore. So make sure to follow the steps mentioned in this video to really prevent getting banned from Google Ads if you want a long-term dropshipping business. But without wasting any more time, let's find out exactly how to not get banned. So the first thing you'll have to do in order to really lower your chances of getting banned is gently destroy that like button down below. I would really definitely appreciate that. Okay, hopefully you have finished destroying that like button down below. But before we actually talk about exactly how not to get banned, let's talk about exactly what Google Ads as a whole is affected by. So one thing a lot of people don't really understand is that the Google Ads account itself and the health of your Google Ads account is directly connected to the Merchant Center account. So the Merchant Center is the place where you connect your product feed and basically where all of the new products you add get pushed to. Once those products are fully pushed onto the Merchant Center account and they're fully synced, that's when the Merchant Center account goes through the product list to see if there are any products which don't really follow their policies. And once that's done, then they push it onto Google Ads itself. So the Merchant Center account itself is kind of like the middleman and it makes sure that the products that you're sending aren't those kinds of products which Google Ads itself would not allow. So the day you start facing issues with your Merchant Center account is the day that your Google Ads account help will start to suffer. Basically, if there is no Merchant Center account, there is no Google Ads for you. And that's why it's so important to start focusing on the Merchant Center account health in order to really prevent yourself from getting banned from Google Ads. So the first thing you want to understand is that the lower number of errors there are on your Merchant Center account, the higher the quality of your product feed. And that also means that you'll be getting much more higher quality traffic. As I already mentioned to you guys, the Merchant Center account is basically the middleman, but also the center of everything. And a lot of the times, without even knowing, a lot of dropshippers have these errors popping up on their Merchant Center accounts. And these could be ranging from the bad fix ASAP errors, which are the red ones, or the ones that are really not that urgent, which are usually in the color orange. So both of these errors are common on the Merchant Center accounts, but are definitely those that you still wanna pay attention to and still focus on fixing. Because if these errors are not fixed, that is going to directly impact the quality of your product feed because one thing you want to understand is that Google Ads itself takes the product feed very, very seriously because there's millions of people wanting to advertise on Google. So you want to understand that Google Ads only wants to show those advertisers which take care of their products, which supply all of the necessary information. And very soon I'm going to be going over what kind of information is important for your Google Ads account. But the higher the quality of the product feed, the lower the number of errors and the lower the chance of you getting banned from Google. But remember to always fix up those red errors as well as the orange ones, even though the orange ones are not that urgent. But let's start talking about the most common types of errors because there are several different types of errors which dropshippers often face. And I'm also going to be going over their solutions at the very end. But the first one is the policy violation error. Now this specific violation error can come from a variety of different reasons. One of the main reasons is prohibited items or prohibited collections. What that means is that you're trying to sell any type of product within one of these categories or any other types of prohibited categories. Some of these include hunting, adult items, certain medical accessories like medicine or some types of oxygen machines, even games and edible items. So these kinds of specific products are those which are really not allowed on Google Ads. And if you try to sell those products, meaning if you submit that product feed onto the Merchant Center, they will immediately post as error messages on your Merchant Center account. It could be the red error specifically. And once it comes onto the Merchant Center account, that does not mean that it's the end of the world. But if almost all of your products are within these prohibited categories, 
that's when problems really start to arise. And if this happens more and more often, that's when the Google ad support team will come in and just ban your account. So you really want to try and make sure that you're not adding any types of prohibited items onto your store in the first place. So you don't even end up getting those specific errors. But the solution is as simple as that. Avoid any products that contain any type of references to these specific niches. And it doesn't really even have to be within that niche. Any type of reference you make to this niche would count as that product that you're trying to sell as being part of these specific prohibited niches. Because one thing you want to understand is that the specific algorithm, which is crawling through your website to understand what the product is, it doesn't have a brain of its own. It's simply an algorithm full of code words done by super smart Google coders. So because it doesn't really have a brain of its own, it can't really differentiate whether the product you're trying to sell is within these categories or not, even if you simply have those references to these products. So that's why you really want to avoid having any types of references or any products from these collections. But the next thing that is specifically one big cause of concern for a lot of Google ads, advertisers and drop shippers is product feed errors. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? Well, there are specific types of product feed errors which could come due to the problems with your products directly. And one of the most important ones is the non-matching product prices and product availability, meaning you have one specific price on your store, but then on the merchant center, it's a whole new price for that product. Oftentimes you'll get this error on your merchant center account after you just change the pricing of one of the products on your store. And that's okay because the merchant center account will automatically sync the new price later on. But if it does not sync and if the errors stay there, that is when the problems start to arise. Another type of problem that is associated with this is the product availability problem. And this simply means that the product is available on your Shopify store or unavailable, but on the merchant center account, it's shows the opposite. So that's why it's super important to make sure that any product data on your website is correctly matching what it says on the merchant center account. And oftentimes you'll face a lot of these problems if your Google shopping feed app is not set up correctly. So one app that I recommend is the Google shopping feed app by Simprosis. And that specific product feed app will make sure that all of the data is getting synced correctly to the merchant center. But this is one of the most common problems a lot of specific dropshippers face when dropshipping via Google Ads. Let's move on to the next most common problem. And that is missing shipping information. Now this is one of the most easiest problems to fix simply because all you have to do is enter of shipping information directly on the merchant center account but a lot of people actually skip over this step they feel that just having shipping prices and options set up on the shopify store is enough with google ads and with the google merchant center that is not enough because you have to then go onto the google merchant center and you can go under the settings section which you can go to by clicking on the wrench at the top right from there you can simply click on shipping and returns and within that section is where you want to set up the shipping options available within your shopify store and the main solution to this is that you add one main shipping rate to the merchant center. Even if you have multiple different rates, having the main rate, which 99% of the people are charged, is sufficient enough. And you want to make sure that you're choosing the rate for the appropriate country. But this is really not a good reason to get your ad account banned. So always make sure before really starting advertising on Google Ads that you have set up the merchant center account correctly and you've set up those shipping options correctly. But let's move on to our final error that a lot of people get, and that is simply having too many sudden errors. A lot of the times people don't understand that one single change on the Google shopping feed app or on the Shopify store itself could lead to a whole range of errors that just suddenly pop up for all of your products. It could be simple product disapprovals because you simply changed one word in the title or the description, which made the algorithm associate that product to the prohibited items list or one of the product identifiers is missing. And these lead to orange errors. The first one leads to red errors. But anytime a lot of the specific products on your website suddenly get banned, that is when Google's algorithm thinks that there is some kind of problem with your website. Maybe you're not following their policies and this leads to a whole spiral of new problems. So you want to make sure that your products never suddenly get banned because once this happens, that's when Google support team will think about suspending your account. And then after that, you will have to work towards getting your account back. But of course, the easiest solution to this is making sure that you set up the Google shopping feed app correctly and making sure that whatever products you're syncing to the Google shopping feed app are all within the accepted collection pages. But of course, even after doing everything, you may find yourself in a situation where your Google merchant center and your Google ad account still gets banned for whatever other reason. In that case, you want to simply contact the Google ad support team or simply look at the email 
email which you received from the Google Ads team, which states the reason for the disapproval. And even if it says that your account really cannot be reinstated, oftentimes the Google Ads support team is very helpful if you identify the main problem as to why it was suspended in the first place and then provide exact steps that you will be taking to the Google Ads support team to fix those issues. They will be more than likely to let you advertise again because of course they are also a business. They want your money. But of course, it's always better to just not have the Google Ads account suspended in the first place. And if you follow these specific steps outlined here, you will definitely be in the green and have much less problems to deal with. But if you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.